Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java hash set class with the help of examples so guys we had seen previously how we can use the set interface and we cannot create the objects of an interface so we can use the hash set class so this class can be used without specifying the set interface as well so this hash set class of the java collections framework provides the functionalities of the hash table data structure it implements the set interface so guys we are going to see some of the methods over here so let us move to eclipse ide now in order to create an object of this class that is hash set we are going to provide this class that is hash set and then inside these angled brackets we are going to provide the data type of the elements that we are going to add in this hash set class so basically i am going to provide the integer data type and let's say we have set 1 as the object name over here followed by equal to new operator and then we have hash set over here so we have hash set so as you can see we have just declared an object that is set 1 of the type hash set now guys i am going to add some elements over here so let's say we have set 1 dot add and it is going to take one parameter that is going to be an element of the set so let's say i provide one as the value i'll just copy this and paste this over here i'll add some more values so 2 3 and then 4 so guys we have completed the first method that is inserting elements to hash set using the add method now guys how do we access the hash set elements that is with the help of iterator we can easily access the hash set elements so over here what we are going to do is i am going to provide set 1 dot iterator so as you can see it is going to return the iterator type so i am going to use this method and then over here i am going to receive that iterator using this iterator interface this should be of the data type integer that's because the set is also of the data type integer over here and then followed by it as the name of the iterator object now guys we are going to traverse through this iterator in order to access all the elements so we are going to use the while loop and we are going to check whether this iterator that is it is having the next element or not using the has next method so this has next method is going to check whether the next element is present or not if it is present the control flow will go inside these curly braces or else it will come out of the loop so basically i am going to provide this print statement over here i am going to remove this ln so that all the elements are printed on the same line and over here i am going to provide it dot next so next method of the iterator is going to return the elements of the set so i'm going to use this method and we are going to separate all the elements with the commas over here so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see all the elements that is 1 2 3 4 is getting printed over here i'll just provide another statement over here that is set content so we have set content is colon and then all the elements are going to get printed let me just save this file and try running this code set content is 1 2 3 4 we have to take care of that last comma we have not handled it properly over here now guys one important feature of the set that we missed out in the previous video is sets cannot have duplicate elements so over here all the elements are unique but now guys let's say i want to add the element to once again so i'll just copy and paste this over here as the fifth element let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see still we are just having the four elements over here what i will do is i will provide the size as well before this print statement so i am going to have the print statement over here and set size is and then we are going to use the set object name that is set 1 dot size So it is going to return the size of the set. Let me just run this code once again. So it says set size is four. Even after adding the element that is two once again as the fifth element, it is not going to add it in the set. That's because the element is already present, and we cannot have duplicate elements in the set. So that if you have the requirement in such a way that you don't want duplicate items to be added in a particular collection, we can use hash set class in order to add the elements and avoid all the duplicate elements being added again and again unlike list classes so guys in this way we can easily access the set elements as well let us move to other methods that is remove elements so how do we remove the elements we simply use the remove method over here so what i am going to do is after this print statement i am going to remove one of the elements that is 3 over here so let me just provide set 1 dot and then we have remove 
and let's say I provide the element that is 3 over here and then we provide the semicolon let me just save this file and try running this code now so 3 should not get printed over here as you can see set content is 1 2 4 3 is not getting printed set size is still 4 guys that's because we have provided the remove method after printing the size so if I provide the remove method before printing the size so I'll just do this I'll just save this file and try running this code. So first we are removing the element that is 3 and then after that we are printing the size. So now the set size is 3 that's because we have 1, 2 and then 4 these elements inside set and this is what it is getting printed over here. Now guys coming to more important features of set that is how can we find the union of sets. So we can use the add all in order to find the union of sets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide just three elements over here that is one, two and three and then I'll just remove these lines of code over here. I'm just going to keep this print statement in order to access the elements. So let me just save this file and try running this code now. So we have just three elements that is one, two, three over here. Now guys, let's say I have another set over here. So I'll just copy this hash set line of code. I'll provide set two as the object and then I'll just copy these lines of code over here. I'll provide set two. I'll just copy this and paste this on the other lines over here as well. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide one as one of the values and four and then five. Now guys, as you can see, we have one, two, three over here and we have one, four, five in set two. Now let's say we want to find the union of both these sets. Now guys, what do you mean by union? That means all the elements of set one and all the elements of set two are present in a union set. So that means one, two, three and then four, five should get printed over here. So we have something called as add all method which we are going to use with the help of set one object so for this set one object we are going to use dot followed by add all and as you can see this second method it takes another collection so the collection that we are going to provide is set two so over here what is happening is from this set two that is one four and five these elements are getting added in set one but guys as i have told you we cannot have duplicate elements so only four and five will get added that's because one is already present in set one and all these elements now will get printed using this print method with the help of the iterator that we have already seen previously let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we have found the union that is one two three four and five now guys moving to another method that is intersection of sets which means which are the common elements that are present in two sets so guys we have something called as retain all method in order to find the intersection of sets so basically instead of using this add all i am going to use the retain all method so we have set one followed by dot and then we have retain all and then i'm going to provide set two and then we have semicolon now guys what are the common elements in both these sets only one element that is one is common and that is what should get printed over here after providing the retain all method let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see one is getting printed that's because we have provided the intersection method that is retain all between these two sets so behind the scenes what is happening is this retain method is finding the common elements in both the sets and only one element is common that is one let's say i provide two over here instead of four so let me just save this file now one and two both are present as the common elements in both the sets let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see one and two is getting printed with the help of this retain all now moving to another method that is difference of sets that is remove all so what is the difference in both the sets so as you can see one and two are the common elements so these will not get printed if we use the remove all but three should get printed that's because set one is having three but set two is not having three so what i'll do is instead of retain all we will do remove all so we have remove all and it is taking the set two as the collection and then we have semicolon. So over here, this three should get printed. That's because one and two is already present in this set two. Let me just save this file and try running this code now. So as you can see, three is getting printed. Now let's say instead of this two, we have four. So as you can see, only one element that is one is common in both the sets. So this should get removed and two and three should get printed over here. Let me just save this file and try running this code now. 
So as you can see, two and three is getting printed. So guys, in this way, you can easily perform some of the operations of the set that is union, intersection and difference of two different sets over here. Guys, apart from this, there are multiple methods that you can use when you use the set object. So over here, you can provide the set object that is set one followed by dot. And as you can see, we have multiple methods that you can use based on your requirements. So guys, that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is Java enum set class with the help of examples. So stay tuned.